is Frank M. James. I'm an artist and a designer and build miniature buildings. I've been doing this for more than 45 years. They're built with things that is around your home. In liberating strife. When I started first with a bed, I was building a bed for her to sleep in called the bed of roses. My mom always say, life is not a bed of roses. And I wanted to show her there is a bed of roses. It's a church that I built with everything in it. It has stained glass windows. It took four years, 8,900 hours to build. It has a basement with the last supper in it. Make God that gold refined. It's like four feet by six feet. The tabernacle of Moses. God told Moses, build me a house that I'm dwelling. The roof is of slate, slate that your kids write on, plywood. The canvas that you see throughout the building were made with drinking straws. The lights around the building is, when you have a desk set, the pen sits in a little holder. And I took those holders and reconstruct them and make them into floodlights. So all the lights around the building are ready pen holders. And the sign on the tabernacle of Moses, it came from the Mount Sinai Desert in Israel. So that makes it very authentic also. The House of Democracy is a very unique piece because I remember on my first exhibition, they call me the Kabbalah man because I take garbage and turn it into art. The street lights on the front street were made from a toothbrush case. The chairs on the front porch are made with coat hangers. The garbage can is a bobbin that thread comes on and I take the bobbin and reconstruct the bobbin to make the garbage can. Yet when you look at it, it looks like a garbage can. A long time ago, I liked doing art. And I could take things from around the yard, the house, things I find in the street, and turn it all into art. But then I get blind. I had 11 strokes, and many other things went wrong with me. I'm old, I'm 70 years old now. I can no longer maintain them. So I need to sell them. I would like to sell them to help me pay for surgery on my eyes. It's a hard job. It takes much patience. You have to be very patient to be an artist. You make a mistake, fix it. Don't say nobody else will see it but you. Because if you do, by the time you finish, there'll be a hundred mistakes and it would not be what you are trying to accomplish. <laughs>